me tell you about the conflict of interest. So an insurance company is a corporation. A corporation has a financial obligation to their shareholders to do what? Maximize profits. They have a fiduciary responsibility. The board of directors have a fiduciary responsibility to maximize profit to the shareholders. They also have a contract with consumers to indemnify them, to make them whole. Do you see the inherent conflict of interest? Of course. If they're indemnifying the insured, then they're not maximizing profits for the shareholders. If they're maximizing profits for the shareholders, they're no longer indemnifying the insured. In fact, the entire claims process process is messed up. Where in the world would there be a contract between two parties? One of the parties says, the contract says you owe me money. The one who owes the money is the one who determines how much they owe the other party. That's crazy. Because they hired the adjuster who determines the amount that they're liable for and how much they owe. They have a, finan- they have a conflict of interest because they're the one having to come out of pocket to be able to pay the other party that they're liable to through the contractual obligation. The entire claims process is a conflict of interest. It is. <laughs> Absolutely. The adjuster has to do what the insurance company tells them to do or they'll get fired. They're not independent adjusters. Now, look at the real estate industry. If you're going to be selling a house or you're going to be buying a house, a real estate appraiser doesn't work for the, for the seller and they don't work for the buyer. They don't work for the realtor. They're actually independently picked by lottery so that you're not getting a shoe in that's going to be saying something that's more profitable to the seller or the buyer. But they get someone who's actually truly independent and he can come out and give a true independent assessment of the value of the house that's for sale. It's a truly independent, he says, working for either party. Why don't we do that with adjusters? Why can't there be a pool of independent adjusters? They don't work for the consumer, nor do they work for the insurance company. Then that well-trained, licensed adjuster then can give a true, no conflict of interest estimate of the value of the loss. Wouldn't that be a lot better? No one thinks about these things. I think about these things all the time because I'm an insurance geek. Uh, 